just that. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's all. I'm sorry. You have poor eyes, remember? Poor eyes. Don't be so innocent. You're the spectacle in your eyes. If only owl has no gravity. Yes, Brenda. If only owl has no gravity. Well, let me tell you about gravity. Gravity is a natural phenomenon. It forces all objects to toss down. Like us, we can't float unless you are David Blaine, the magician. Of course, that is impossible. Wait, did you see my magnet? What? My magnet, did you see? No, I didn't. Oh no, it's for listening of the days. <laughs> Don't worry, maybe it's stick everywhere. What? Yes, magnet is attraction and repulsion between the different magnets. Different magnetic poles produce better attraction while the same magnetic poles generate repulsive force. Yes, that is what is called magnetic force. Look, if you put the different magnetic poles, it will stick, but the same magnetic poles, repulsive force will be produced. Yes, that's true. Oh yeah, I almost forget. Talking about type force, there is one force that I need to explain. Yes! Now what? Nothing. Alright. Okay then. So, Arif, what is that force? Okay, let me tell you. It's frictional force. Huh? International what? Uh, it's frictional force. Friction. No, you get it? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Frictional force means friction against movement when two surfaces are contacted. Don't give me that look. Okay, for example, thank you, cameraman. For example, if you draw something and you draw when drawn, what will you do? Oh, it is easy. I will just erase what I've drawn. Okay, so what force did you call that? Call? Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it now. It's international force. It's spiritual force, Ivy. Oh, I'm sorry. Ow. There is fighting. Okay, let's get started. Stephanie, can you give me the advantage and disadvantage of friction? Yes, of course. Excess of frictional force allow us to write and erase. As for the disadvantage, it can exhaust the surfaces and slow movement. You're very good in science, don't you? Maybe. If you're good in science, can you give me the main force we have learned in dynamic chapter? Yes, the first one is gravitation force. The second force is magnetic, and the third force is, is international force. It's frictional force, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, that's all for the next chapter. What? Hey, how about the uh, electrostatic force? Oh, yes, the electrostatic force. Electrostatic is sources by two different materials. The one that is positively <laughs> charged and negatively charged. All right. Yes, that's all about the force in our daily life. I'm Brenda. I'm Arif. I'm Ivy. I'm Stephanie. I'm Idy. Who, Who are, are you? you? I'm the cameraman. Who's, Who's holding the camera? <laughs>